Yo, what's up? It's Odell again. Um, I just saw the homie uh, Mike Son zero zero seven. I saw your uh, uh, your video uh, based on the fight. And brother, you know, there's there's some points in there that uh, uh, that I agree with you. And um, I guess let me let me just put it down like this. And and this really doesn't. How should I say this is not gonna be this is not basically based off of your videos, based off of comments and and what people were even talking about at work about uh uh Floyd Mayweather. Okay. Here here's the thing about Floyd Mayweather that people just still cannot understand about this brother. He is a businessman. He is an entrepreneur, okay? He knows what it takes to make that money. Now, the clip on uh, YouTube that everybody was sitting there talking about with him counting his money, that wasn't a video that he did and just said, hey, I'm going to post it on, on the YouTube. That was when he was... Um, Offered to an offered and spot, and he was offered a spot on WWE to fight the big show. And I can't remember what the clause of the uh, the whole contract thing between them. I guess it was supposed to be, um, I guess Mayweather was going to put up money against the big show, saying that you know, I'm gonna put my own money up, saying that I can beat you. So what happened was, and if everybody, I mean, yeah, I believe in it. I used to watch the WWE, but he did the video, and the video actually was posted on the Titan uh, Tron uh, during a WWE event where he was going in his house and he was actually counting, you know, pulling money out from different places throughout the house. So that was a whole WWE promotion thing. Now. Does he flaunt his money? Yes. You guys have to realize his whole attitude in, you know, saying that my nose is high and everything. This is all an image. Okay. I've seen this brother literally take the time and talk to these young kids, sign autographs. I mean, when, when people sit there and say, you guys see what he puts out there in front of the cameras. But when the cameras are not going and the cameras are off, the dude is a, a, is a whole complete different person. If everybody realizes HBO 24-7, HBO did not come up with that. HBO did not create that. Floyd Mayweather did. Floyd Mayweather started HBO 24-7. So now whenever there's a big major fight going on, HBO 24-7. The brother puts his nose up there and lets you guys see that. Because he wants you guys to hate his ass so much. He wants you guys to sit there and be like, man, I want to see Floyd Mayweather get his ass knocked out. And then guess what you do when a fight does come up? You go up there and you say, I will buy, click, I will buy, click, guess what he just made you do, okay, follow me, guess what he just made you do, he just made you put more money into his pocket, he was going to walk out of this fight, win or lose, 40 mil, 40 mil guaranteed in his pocket. And then whatever he was going to make off the pay-per-view revenues. So by him sitting there going around and, and, and saying, Money Mayweather, you know, I got the bling. I got the wads of cash. I've got this. I've got that. I'm the best fighter in the world. Can't nobody beat me. I'm the best fighter in the world. He just made you go, bye now. It's promotion people boxing I, I used to love i used to watch it during the days with mike tyson mike tyson was real brother would come in there and his main thing was i'm gonna knock you the fuck out okay 
boxing has fell off. Now you get people that dance around and then boom, the fight is over. Both fighters are getting paid. Okay, now do I say that does Floyd Mayweather do that? Floyd is not a knockout artist. He's a technician. Okay, if everybody has seen the Ricky Hatton fight, the uh, Shane Mosley fight, he's a technician. He's going to take his time and then he's going to take his shots on you. Like, for instance, when I was watching him fight Ricky Hatton, he took his time. And then all of a sudden, he started realizing, man, Ricky Hatton always probably sit, you know, this is, I didn't, I'm not saying this is what he was thinking, but I'm thinking this is what he was thinking. He's probably sitting there like, okay, now I know what Ricky Hatton actually does. He drops his left arm when he's getting ready to throw this. So therefore, I'm going to catch him with the left hook when he does that. He is a technician. No matter what, it does not matter if he cheap shot him or whatever. Floyd Mayweather was killing him in all four rounds. Oh boy, got a shot on on Floyd against the ropes. He expressed his power then, but it it, it wasn't nothing to uh, Floyd. It, it it phased Floyd. It didn't even my bad. It didn't even phase him. That's even another thing about Floyd. He is a defense. He he knows the art of defense in boxing. When people sit there, when he's up against the ropes and the dude is sitting there swinging, you guys may think that it's hurting him, but it's not. Some of those punches are just grazing him because the dude is so fast ducking and dodging. He is not a knockout artist, but he is a technician. He will go in there and he will do what he needs to do to win, whether it's by knockout or points. Okay, that fight yesterday, cheap shot or no cheap shot, keep your hands up, defend yourself at all times. If I was Floyd Mayweather, I'm not going to look at Ortiz and say, okay, are you ready to fight now? Hell no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I've been in real fights before where individuals want to sit there and they were more worried about, and I'm not talking about professional fights, I'm talking about literally hand down scrapping they worried about what the girls how many girls are out here looking and whatnot okay so if you're going to pay attention to see how many girls are out looking so you can impress yourself while fighting but you're not going to pay attention to me guess what there's a reason why that same dude got knocked the fuck out that day protect yourself at all times Ortiz failed to do that. Therefore, that's what happened. Okay? But like I said, everybody, let's take that cheap shot. Let's take the cheap, cheap hits. Let's boom, let's put that away. Floyd Mayweather was going to win that fight regardless. Okay? He would have defended himself throughout the 12 rounds, jabbed the shit out of this kid, and then he just would have won by decision. Hands down. Back to the whole, you know being arrogant and flaunting your money out like that. Again, this is an image. This is an image. There's a reason why he is called Floyd Money Mayweather. It's because the brother knows how to make the money. There's a reason why he got $40 million and Ortiz got $2 million. The brother knows how to make the money. There's a reason why during the weigh-in, he sat there, got in his face, choked him, which I probably, I think maybe it was fake, I don't know. Uh, like, for instance, when he fought Oscar De La Hoya and he came out wearing the sombro, I think that's what you call it, the sombro, the big old uh, hat that Mexicans wear. He wanted to insult not only Oscar De La Hoya, but everybody out there, no, he's not racist, but again, it's that image. Because guess what? He just made you go, buy it now. Me, I think the brother's a genius. I'm in this world right now, and I got to go defend the United States of the... I got to sit here and go defend the United States of America. 
hands down, whether if it be in Afghanistan or out here in South Korea. Lord knows we're expendable. We could die the next motherfucking day and ain't nobody going to sit there in the world going to know who the fuck Odell Young is. You know? Ain't nobody going to sit there and know who my ass is along with every other of my sisters and brothers out here in the uh, armed forces. We can sit here and die the next day and the world won't even know who we are. If I had even near close the talent of Floyd Mayweather, I would be doing the same damn thing. I would be doing the same damn thing. And if it means to get in your guys' heads and make you hate me so much that you want to see me get knocked out to the point where it's going to make you go buy it now. I don't Honestly, I don't watch pay-per-view fights no more. I watch the UFC now a lot because uh, their fights are, are way much better. The champion actually fights, you know, he doesn't get like a year break or two year break. They actually fight within like four or five months after their, you know, after their previous fight. But the thing is, um, I, I really don't watch pay-per-views anymore. I heard about this fight when somebody posted it up on YouTube and I uh, and I read it on ESPN. But for everybody out there who wants to bash Floyd Mayweather and talk shit about him, guess what he just made you do? Buy it now. You just put money into his pocket. So he just won twice. You know? He just won twice. And then again, if he wants to sit there and if he wants to flaunt, if he wants to flaunt, if he wants to sit there and say how much cash he has, people, it's his life. You know what I'm saying? It's his life. It's not my life. I don't care if the brother goes out and flaunts his money. I don't care that, you know, he, he's a multimillionaire. That's his life. That's not my life. You know, and it just seems that the world hates a lot on these particular people because they choose to do this or or they choose to be that certain person. For instance, everybody hated on LeBron because he left Cleveland and went down to Miami. Last time I checked, God gave him the talent, not the world. Not Cleveland. Okay? God gave him the talent. Okay? Therefore, it's his choice what he wants to do with it. If he sat there and said, hey, I gave you guys seven years in Cleveland and it just has not happened, I want to move down and get two other guys that I think that I can win a championship with, his life the world does not sit there and judge where LeBron James goes we did not give him that talent God did therefore it's LeBron's choice on what he wants to do with that talent he could sit there and he could be a businessman working at a bank or he can take that talent that God gave him and put it on the court and play did, did they have to do the whole big ESPN thing? No, they didn't. Could he have let the administrative system know, you know, the administration of the Cavaliers know, say, hey, I, I am leaving? Yeah. But then once again, it's the brother's life. He can do whatever he wants with it. And now the whole world is hating on him because they look at him as a quitter. He's doing what he wants to do. And everybody needs to understand that. So, same with Floyd Mayweather. It, it's it's his life, and uh, the brother's pretty smart about it. He really is. Y'all need to open up your eyes. You really do.